Hi, I'm Hari Holla, Technical Marketing Engineer for the Cisco's Identity Services Engine, ICE. Today, I'll walk you through a short briefing and a demo of the anomalous behavior detection and enforcement feature that we introduced in ICE 2.2. Cisco ICE, with its next generation network access control capabilities, ensures trusted devices and users connect to trusted services. When the devices that we know behave anomalously, there is a breach of trust. An endpoint anomaly could be max spoofing attacks, someone trying to impersonate a known device, or it could be a device changing its profile. An endpoint that appeared as a phone a few minutes back now appears to be a Windows workstation. That's something wrong. The other type of endpoint anomaly could be a MAC address that we always saw on a wireless network now shows up on an Ethernet port. Why? All of these and many more can be classified as anomaly from an endpoint's identity standpoint. These anomalies can now be detected by eyes and automatic enforcement can be applied to contain them. Let me now show how this works in my lab. I've just logged into ICE. If you're in ICE 2.2, you will quickly notice that we have a new metric for anomalous behavior detection. Now at this point of time, what the dashboard tells me is there's just one active endpoint. Now if you click on this, I see the details of it. And what I notice here is, it is a Windows 10 workstation that is being connected here, and it has this MAC address. So this is the endpoint that I'm talking about. This is the virtual machine that I have here, which is connected to this network at this point of time. We'll come back to this host later. Let me go back to the dashboard now. And what I want to show is, this anomalous behavior counter right now is zero, which means, ICE has not seen any anomaly so far. So back to that host, I have another VM, which is a Linux VM. You see that this is a Windows VM and this is a Linux VM. But what you see here is, I have configured a MAC address, which is the same as the Windows VM. It's, it's basically a simulation of a MAC spoofing attack. But at this point of time, this VM is not connected to the network. So what I'll do is I'll go and disconnect this endpoint from the network, come back to this Linux VM and connect it to the network. And when I do that, when I seize this endpoint on the network, it will quickly be able to say that there is an anomaly. As you can see here, the counter went up by one. Now we'll go to the details of it. Before that, I also have the automatic enforcement being configured on ICE. I'll show where it is done later on. But what happens because of that is, let's say if I try to do some activity on this endpoint, let's say if I try to browse some web pages, uh, you see that there's a home page setting there, but I couldn't get to the home page because I get a URL redirection from ICE, which says that there's an anomaly detected. In other terms, this endpoint has very limited access in the network. That's what it means. So if we go back to ICE, and let me click on this counter now, and we'll get to the details. And what I see here is this endpoint is marked anomalous. And we see that uh, there's a change in host name, and uh, the endpoint profile has completely changed. Now, I'm not surprised that ICE has detected this endpoint being anomalous. In terms of configuration, I go to admin settings, go to the profiling settings. So these are some of the new options that you'll see in ICE 2.2. So we can optionally enable the anomalous behavior detection. We can also enable the anomalous behavior enforcement. Be a little careful about enabling the enforcement because you wouldn't 
want to go and deny access to a legitimate endpoint because someone is spoofing its MAC address. Okay. However, if I have enabled enforcement, then I also have to go and define a policy. So I have an authorization policy here. There are some basic policies that comes with installation. Um, and I have an exception policy configured here, which says if the endpoint is being detected to be behaving anomalously, then we'll flag it with a quarantine security group tag and we'll send down an URL notification. That's what we just saw on that endpoint. So to conclude, ICE anomalous behavior detection and enforcement feature can detect the endpoint's identity-related anomalies and automatically contain them, thereby delivering effective security. Thanks for watching. For more details, go to www.cisco.com/go/ice.